first of all introduce yourself okay sir uh good afternoon sir i am vishwadas singh i belong to the city of taj that is agra and i have completed my schooling from agra itself after that i have completed my polytechnic diploma from government polytechnic kozawa in 2020 in mechanical engineering branch uh, and i there i got many opportunities to lead many teams at different occasions after that i have completed my btech from kamla institute of technology sultanpur in 2023 in mechanical engineering and my project was speed generation through power uh, power generation through speed breaker and my hobbies are gym cycling and mobile photography thank you sir okay you have applied for cgpttm right yes sir okay tell me uh, what is the main function of cgpttm Yes, sir. So, so the main function of CGPTM is to uh, uh, grant the patent to different uh, entities, individuals, organizations in order to uh, protect their innovations and uh, and uh, and provide the rights to the innovator or inventor to commercialize and use the uh, their property, intellectual property, as their own. Okay. Who is the controller journal of? Uh, CGPT team. Ah, uh, Professor uh, Unnat P. Pandit. Okay. Can you brief uh, their success story? Ah, uh, sir, as I read about him, that uh, he is a professor at Jawaharlal Nehru University, and uh, he is also a member of uh, Atal Innovation Lab, and uh, also he. Ah, uh, sir. Ah. Uh, this one okay. and the cgpttm uh, works under which ministry of india uh, ministry of commerce and industries and who is the minister of commerce and industries uh pius uh, mr sri pius to pius go yes pius go okay tell me what are the various kinds of iprs uh those kinds of uh, patent copyright trademark industrial design and uh, etc okay patents in india are regulated by which act uh so mainly regulated by patent act 1970 and which are amended uh, which are amended many times and what uh, was the latest amendment uh pardon sir abhi iski knowledge nahi hai mujhe that was on 15th of march 2024 yes sir okay yes sir. the word tata t a t a uh, yes. uh, displayed on the every car of the tata company under which ipr uh, which type of ipr is, is it uh, as a tata is a logo of tata company that is registered under the trademark property and under which act the trademarks are regulated uh, sir uh, it is uh, regulated by trademark act and uh, i have not complete knowledge yet Okay, why do you want to join this department? Ah, uh, sir, I have made three reasons to join this department. As this is the most promising sector in the, this is the most promising sector to build a career in the period of Amrit Kal. As India is a first uh, or a top nation in the project in the uh, in the growth of uh, IPR and uh, IPR grants. Also, India shows thirty one point six percent growth and. Uh, India is the sixth country in the world ranking according to Global Innovative Index. So this is a, have a huge potential. So I would like to have a part of this journey, this prestigious journey. Second, uh, the wide variety of work it gives to a person, diverse range of technologies and industries, which gives the unmatchable opportunity to learn about the new innovations and technical advancement. And the last one is the the key responsibility of this job. is to ensure the fairness and impartiality of the system of upholding the 
इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ द पेटेंट सिस्टम एंड प्रोटेक्टिंग राइट ऑफ इन्वेंटर एंड क्रिएटर the patent rights given uh, under the patent act uh, 1970 what is the uh, territory of the rights of the patent it is within the indian boundary or all over the world uh sir i have not i am not sure but i can guess uh, it is within the indian boundary and for our for foreign reasons we have to register them individually so if we want to the patent in all over the world we have to apply to each and every country separately. yes sir or yes sir or i think we can also register to the wipo that's a world world intellectual property organization okay let us post the one uh, innovator and get patent of his innovations in india then very easily the someone from the other country can copy and commercialize it in the in his country uh sir in that case the wipo will act as a mediatory body and resolve the prior issue uh, for what type of invention uh, the patent can be provided uh please repeat sir for what type of inventions the patents can be provided uh the patent the innovation should be novel non obvious functional and uh, should be visible on the finished article and all, also it uh, is not already registered or granted okay and which type of patents cannot be patented in india which type of inventions can not be patentable in india uh so uh, so i'm not sure about this but i can guess those invention which can be which can be made by altering some product some parts of the process or uh, already existing products or to take grant or patent and for nuclear nuclear power uh, related and for natural laws sorry sir i have not uh, read about that i am recommend uh, guiding you the yes, for nuclear and uh, related to the nuclear and uh, for natural uh, laws okay sir natural things okay who can apply for the patent hmm i think sir uh, as a innovator or creator individually can apply also he can apply via a patent agent or patent attorney or or a firm jahan pe or a firm can apply for the patent on the basis of team okay. after applying to the department for how long the it should keep secret and no not uh, published in the journal after applying for patent to the department cgpdtm for how long the department keep it secret and not published in his journal uh sorry sir i have not uh, not no i have no idea about it but uh, the time taken in the uh, granting patent as about 18 months to 3 years then i think this period he cannot uh... yes minimum period is 18 months Please repeat, sir. For eighteen months, uh, it will not be published in the journal of CGPTM. Okay. Okay. After applying uh, for the patent, uh, is there any provision to withdraw the application by the applicant? Sorry, sir, no idea. The applicant can uh, withdraw within the fifteen months because um, at least three months prior to the publication. Okay, sir. If he want to upgrade or some amendments, then he can withdraw his application uh, within the fifteen months, one five. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay.
for how long uh, for how what for what tenure the patents were uh, was issued to the original applicant uh, uh for the 20 years from the date of filing the registration after getting the patent uh, what are the obligations of the applicant mm, please repeat sir after getting the patent cleared means after getting the patent what are the main obligations of the applicant or the patentee? Sir, please explain the obligations. Uh, obligations what obligations? What are the responsibilities? Uh, 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 sir, advantages of uh, the patent? No, no, no. Patent milne ke baad, after getting the patent, what are the obligations uh, of the patentee? Patent is the obligation. Sorry, sir, no idea. So, uh, one is the he has to pay the annual fees up to the 20 years. Okay, sir. Okay, first two years it is not required, it is already included in the application fees. And from the third year to 20 years, he has to pay uh, as pre decided annual fees for the patent. And if he fails to pay the fees, okay, his sir. patent can be seized. And he can use the patent for the commercial purpose that are the other things that everybody knows about it. Okay, uh, Arisha, uh, tell me, uh, okay, when is your final interview actually? Uh, 6th April, sir. 6th April, so you have the time. Okay, you have you got the this CGPTM documents from the URPD? Uh, sir, coffee portion clearly, like I put a portion here, sir. So I think it will be better if you uh, read all the document, then come for the snap. Okay, sir. Because uh, the required information all is given in that document. That will be better, I think. Uh, 